We're pleased to have with us tonight Teresa Wilson, City Council, City of Columbia Manager and Junior League of Columbia Sustainer. Teresa Wilson um, will be presenting a formal proclamation announcing the Junior League of Columbia 100 Acts of Service Week. Earlier this week, the League was presented with a formal proclamation at the City of Columbia City Council meeting by Mayor Rickman and City Council, and we got to hear from Mayor Rickman about the City's appreciation for the work of the League and its continued collaboration. As Teresa makes her way to the stage, I'll give a little background about her career. She leads the executive team in the South Carolina's capital city, focused on community development, public safety, and enhancing the quality life of Columbia. Teresa is helping to transform our city. She's the incoming president of the South Carolina City and County Management Association and an active member of the International City County Management Association. A Liberty Fellow, a Riley Fellow, Teresa has received numerous accolades, including being named one of Columbia's top 20 under 40 business professionals, one of Columbia Business Monthly's 50 most influential people, and one of the Southeast Small Business Magazine's top women of influence. Thank you for being with us tonight, Teresa. you know, make us who we are, of course, and one of the things that's extra special to me is being a member of the Junior League of Columbia. I was thinking, um, as I've shared with Emily, really over the last few weeks when, you know, we knew that this was coming up, I really had some fun memories, and I'm probably going to be dating myself as well, but my provisional year was in 2004, and there were some really sweet ladies who had encouraged me to become a part of the Junior League of Columbia. And I was saying, okay, well, I just have a baby, and I don't know, and yeah, I'm not sure, you know, time commitments and those type things. And when I think back about it, and I look at this crowd, and I look at that beautiful baby right there, and some other children that I've seen in the room, it is that connection that made me know and feel very confident when they um, invited me on um, date myself again and some of my sponsors like Barbara MacArthur and um, Kathy Hubbard was on that video and ladies like Teresa Counts Davis um, made me feel so comfortable because they were like, come with us for lunch at Birds on Wire, which is this place on Divine Street. <laughs> that the 
lead and is always involved in. Um, I look back and I saw some of the women who are in this room that I've been had the opportunity to sponsor and try to pour into, like Ashley Jenkins Wood, who has worked with the city of Columbia Avenue personally for many years, and other um, members like Ms. Peyton, who's Peyton? Peyton is the new, she's in her first year, and she works for Mayor Rickman now. So we are very fortunate to have a network, and you have to learn how to make that network work for you because it comes back around, and professionally and personally, the connections are truly, truly important. With that, I look forward to doing um, more acts of service with the league in this very special year. And the city of Columbia um, is extremely grateful for the partnership and all that the league does in, in our capital city. So on behalf of Mayor Rick and in his absence, he would have been here again. And those that we said, he was super excited at the council meeting Tuesday night to formally present the proclamation that I am going to take the time to actually read it because what's in it is um, very meaningful. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia, established in 1924 by Ms. Catherine Heath Manning, is committed to advancing women's leadership for meaningful community impact and volunteer action, collaboration, and training. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia promotes volunteerism and improves communities by providing a variety of avenues for our members to become involved and make positive impacts throughout the Midlands community and schools. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia began with a group of 10 women and has grown to a membership of almost 1,500. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia membership gives countless hours back to the community through volunteerism while also giving members nearly 500 hours of leadership training yearly. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia has been involved with numerous projects and programs supporting children and women, as well as helping to establish new community organizations that have had a lasting impact and work to improve the well-being of children and family in the Midlands. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia welcomes all women who value our mission. We are committed to the inclusive, or the Junior League is committed, committed to the inclusive environments of individuals, organizations, and communities. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia celebrates its centennial league year beginning September 2023 through May 2024, honoring a rich history of lasting leadership. Whereas in honor of its celebratory year, the Junior League of Columbia will execute a 100 acts of service from October 2nd through the 12th, 2023, completing 100 various community service projects that focus on women and children alongside some of the League's historic partners. Whereas the Junior League of Columbia will host a milestone luncheon on March 6, 2024, that will serve to remind the city of the League's commitment to service and leadership. It will also consist of a panel of League members who have had an impact in the community, moderated by the Association of Junior Leagues International President. And whereas the celebratory year will conclude with a black tie game on April 13, 2024, hosted at the Columbia Museum of Art, an institution that the League has been heavily involved in since its, its inception. And the event will highlight the achievements of the last 100 years, the celebratory year, and look forward to the next 100 years. Therefore, I, Teresa Wilson, on behalf of Daniel J. Rickman, Mayor of the City of Columbia, South Carolina, along with all the members of Columbia City Council, do hereby proclaim that this city honors and recognizes October 2nd through October 12th, the Junior League of Columbia 100 Acts of Services Week in the City of Columbia, 